so hello friends welcome to my channel and men coaching center so today i'm going to explain your 11th standard biology second chapter biological classification part 2 video so last video i explained uh, about protista fungi and bacteria characteristics and how much marks they will ask that i said to so here so in this video i will explain the next is fungi and uh, its sexual cycle in fungi that i will explain so and this they will ask for if they may ask you for three marks so fungi has sexual methods have three steps one is plasmogamy it is a fusion of protoplast of two mating strains without the nuclear fusion it happens and next is the karyogamy that the fusion of two nuclei nuclei of opposite strains result of dikaryon and zygote formation happens here and the next is last is mes the division of zygote producing haploid spores so that was the how the reproduction happens in the fungi sexual reproduction next is the two reasons of non inclusion of viruses in five kingdom of classification so they are non cellular organisms and they are not true living organisms and they behave like a inner crystal uh, structure outside the living cells so list the living and non living properties of virus so non living properties of virus are they are crystallize the viruses and they behave like inert crystalline structure outside the living cells and living properties of viruses are the they behave as living organisms only after entering into living organisms they take over the genetic machinery of the host uh, to reproduce so what are the characteristics of micro uh, characteristics of virus so they are microscopic they are parasites obligated parasites they have they possess nucleic acid in that may be dna deoxyribonucleic acid or p ribonucleic acid or in a and also they generate uh, double double dna double rna and they are coated with a protein coat they are made it and that is called as capsid so these are the characteristics of viruses and uh, what are bacteriophage so it is a virus that infect bacteria that infects the bacteria is called as bacteriophages or bacterial viruses also it is called and some of the viruses that humans have they are the mumps smallpox herpes flu aids other things are the viruses and they this they may ask for two marks and uh, the characteristics they may ask for two to three marks and next is we have to mention a two symptoms of viruses infecting in plants the symptoms are curling yellowing vein clearing or stunt growth or small there is no growth and uh, form a leaf rolling the rolling of leaf this may say as that plant has got a virus attack and next is this is that tobacco mo tobacco mosaic virus like this it was and here i have rna and here cap capsid that is protein coat as you know that is made uh, capsid is the protein coat as i said the in the characteristics of viruses and this is a bacteriophage as you know bacteriophage the viruses bacteria viruses are called as bacteriophage and what is viroid so the infection uh, in infectional agents of uh, nucleic acid and the protein coat are called as viroids and it was discovered by t o diner who discovered the viroids and uh, this they may ask for two marks who discovered uh, they may ask for one marks or uh, uh, both also both the question what are viroids and who discovered both they may ask for two marks or who discovered the viroids they may ask for one marks anything they may ask like this and name the disease caused by viroids the potato spindle tuber disease is the caused by the viroids this they may ask for one marks and what is lichen so lichen is symbolic relation association or relationship between the algae and fungi is known as lichens and uh, and uh, 
this also the mass for one marks and the pygobiont this is the uh, algae components of lichen is known as pygobiont and mycobiont is the fungi components of lichens is called as the mycobiont they are different in the lichens and also and also lichens are very good for pollution indicator it says because lichens grow only where there is no pollution area only that place lichen grows so these three these four uh, what is lichens and uh, um, pycobiont mycobiont this they may ask for one or two marks I mean, they may ask and uh, lichen are very good pop uh, good population indicator this also they may ask for one or more one not two marks they may ask nothing more than that so one minute uh, one minute one minute so in this chapter we have learnt about the who founded the kingdoms that is uh, or H whatever and the five types of kingdoms modern approaches to fungi plant and animalia and uh, uh, what are bacteria and there are different types of uh, monera kingdom they are uh, the aerobacteria cyanobacteria u bacteria and mycoplasmas so what is uh, aerobacteria we have learned and uh, oh, oh and the smallest kingdom organisms in the kingdom monera is mycoplasma that is the belongs to kingdom monera only and uh, protista features we learnt and the chrysoplasm features we learnt this also they must for two to three marks this all and the protozoans also this three marks they will ask and five marks most important fungi features that are the as i said it is heterotropic it is it lives in warm and cold weather and uh, and also it is uh, it uh, and also it is it is unicellular or multicellular and it is uh, long hair that is called as uh, hypae and hypae is also called as mycelium and mycelium they are separate and non separate means they are without cell cross wall or uh, they have with cell wall uh, with cell wall are called as a uh, separate without cell wall are called as a separate and uh, these cell wall are co- covered with a chitin or called as chitin and they are heterotropic they uh, do sexual they do reproduction with both sexual and uh, sexual methods so these like this you have to write uh, remember 10 to 12 points as i said in last video if they ask for five marks you can write uh, that 10 points 12 if you forgot any two points also no problem you will remember 12 points but you have to write only 10 points no so if you rem- forgot two points also you can write the other 10 points and we'll get the marks and next we learned about the classification of fungi and also the sexual reproduction in fungi and uh, viruses and their no uh, and the uh, characteristics of the virus that uh, viruses and also we have learnt about the bacteriophages and the different viruses and uh, uh, this diagram you have to practice and uh, we have learnt about viroids and the uh, viroids is the infection agent which has only nucleic acid with protein coat and it was discovered or uh, it was said by the T.O. Diner who discovered it and uh, lichens the same sympathy the symbiotic association of and the symbiotic association of algae and fungi is called as lichens and the phycobionts are the algae components it has and mycobionts as fungi components and lichens are grown in non polluted area means where there is no pollution there it grows so we can say that by even where lichen lichen is grow so grows grow there we can say that that is the area is pollution free we can say easily so these all the components you have to remember it is a easy chapter so you can remember this and uh, like this only we can remember for so that if they ask them for like this for marks for three or three marks you can remember it easily so okay friend i think you understand this chapter so like my video comment on my video subscribe my channel and coaching center for more video 
I will explain the next chapter of biology, physics, chemistry, or any chapter of any branches of the science. I will explain. So, okay, friends. Bye. See you. Take care. I will see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day and share my video with your friends. Bye, friends.